Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add your signature to PDF in Edge. That's right, Microsoft Edge browser, you can actually sign a PDF. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. This was written by Jim Hiller on Dave's Computer Tips. He's a great writer. Um, and I'll put the link down below so you guys can check out his article. I also did a video on how to sign a PDF document using Adobe Acrobat. And actually, I'll put a link down below for that too, so you can check that out. And this is just another way you can actually sign it if you don't have any cool softwares like that. This is, if you have Edge Browser, this will actually show you how you can sign the document and make it a little easier for you. So let's get started. But first, before we go on, let's hit the like button on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos we come out with. I come out with one a week at minimum, sometimes two. It's very rare, but I get one a week. So make sure you check back every week for the new how-to videos. And if you have suggestions on some how-to videos you'd like to see, let me know. I'm very happy to make them if it's something I can do for you. So that's how it works. So first, let's go look at how to sign a PDF in Microsoft Edge. So let's first find the PDF. So you go out here, I have the PDF on my desktop, so that makes it a lot simpler. So you right click on it and you wanna right click on the PDF. Then when you do that, you wanna go down to you find open with. And open with will give you obviously the Adobe Acrobat Reader. That's the one I was talking about. And then Microsoft Edge. So click on that and now it's open. So as you can see, I've done it a couple of times. So this is, where I had to practice when I do my videos. So here it is right here, and you want to, I want to put a signature right here. So what we want to do is we're going to look to the top bar right here, and we're going to go to the right of it and keep going. You'll see a lot of options, and you'll see this option right here. It's called the draw feature. So what you want to do is click the little arrow next to it. So you want to select it, so click on it, and then hit the down arrow, and this is where you can choose what color your signature is. I like to do dark blue. And this is also where you can change the thickness of the line. I like a little thicker. So there it is. And now once you've chosen those two things and this is selected, you can go down to the line. As you can see, you now have a pencil to draw. Now, it does take practice to get your signature the way you want it. <laughs> so it's just like going to the grocery store and signing those little credit card machines. It doesn't ever come out exactly like your signature, but this is a, you know, a good option for you if you, don't, if you need to sign a... PDF that someone sent you. So what you want to do is when you go down to the line, find out where you want to start, then hold down the left mouse button. I like to use a mouse, not the pad on my laptop because I can't do it as well with that. So what you do is once you hold down the left button, you just move the pencil. All right. And then you can go like that. You can make it as slow as you can to make sure you get your signature almost as right as you can. Okay. There's one part of it. And then I'll finish up my signature. You let go of the mouse when you're done drawing or writing your signature. So that's how you turn it off. And then there you go. And then I let go and there's my signature. Now, if you don't like your signature and you're like, ah, I need to practice more, you can come up here and hit the little erase icon, which will let you erase it. So if you hold down the, so you put the eraser right here on the edge or you can click, or you can hover over the top of it. And But the thing you have to do is hold down the left mouse button and move across it and then it erases it. So hold down the left, move across it. So there you go. But let me sign it one more time and then I'll show you how we, we're gonna save it after that. So let's sign it again. It might not be as pretty as the first time, but we'll still, oh, I don't even know what I'm signing right there. Okay, we're gonna pretend that's my signature. There's my signature. Now we're done. Now you wanna go to the top, go to the far right, and you can have save. This is just straight save icon or save as. I like save as because I like to choose where I put my document and I like to rename it. So we're gonna go to the desktop again. That's where we wanna put it. And I'm going to say part three, because it's the third time I've done this. <laughs> so part three, oh, that's part two, part three, and then hit save. And now it's, it's saved. So now you can send that in an email to someone or however you want to do it. And I'm going to close that out. So where is that one? That one's right here. So if I right click on it again, and then I'm going to show you in Microsoft Edge browser. And there it is. Your PDF is signed and ready to go. So now you can send it to whoever you have to. So that's how easy it is to sign a PDF document in Microsoft Edge. So make sure you check out Jim Hiller's article. Also make sure you check out the other Adobe Acrobat, how to sign a PDF on that one. It, links will be down below, but that's how you do it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching